waiting for Esteban to uh, log in. Matt Duke in the building with us. We also have my man Alvaro, who's been here since day one. Uh, hang out on the back. Um, I got some leads that I need to follow up with. Um, these are what my notes. Well, you can't even see that, but my note, I just scribble shit. I make no sense whatsoever. <clears throat> but let's uh, <clears throat> let's pull up some um addresses. And let's make our first call. Now, Matt, <clears throat> I cannot throw today. I was thinking if you guys are saying my phone is breaking up, it would, or my mic is breaking up, it's only when I'm on a phone call. Would, would we agree with that? It's, it's happening right now. God. Yeah, man. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm, now, I'm a bit of an asshole when it comes to stuff like that. Um, so, like, I notice it, like, Probably more than other people, but it, it's happening quite a bit. I don't know what I can possibly do to repair this. Like, I went out and spent, you know, top dollar to get this. Yeah, this is it's just a sheer um, Short of the $400 one, we needed a stand and a X board and all that horse shit. I didn't want to do any of that. I'm just, no, you don't need to. Okay. Yeah. What'd you prefer? What, I, what I'm noticing is actually, I believe that. I think it's got something to do with the, the streaming. Like what I would want to check with you is I would want to maybe go into like discord or something like a separate program, maybe where you're not streaming and see if we mess around with some things. I'm noticing that your screen, like your webcam is like hiccuping as well. Hmm. So like, yeah, um, and I'm you know, 90% of the time. I'm wired direct. I don't, I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Yeah, I I should like uh, I should record it with my camera on my phone and like send you the video okay. so you can see what it looks like um, because yeah it's you know you're you'll like you just picked up like a some drink or something and like you went to pick it up and then the next frame that I saw was the drink was gone like I didn't see you pick it up and then go put it back down wild <laughs> I have no idea how to yeah repair this. let me see here. Um, so what happens like with streaming, at least for me, when I, when I'm streaming on Twitch, which is like video games, but it doesn't matter what you're streaming. If you're streaming stuff, if you aren't stream, if you don't have enough bandwidth on your internet connection, or if your settings are incorrect, like for instance, if you're trying to push too much quality, um, yeah, you actually, you could also even watch yourself. You could go onto your Facebook or whatever, pull up another link in another window maybe even on your phone or something and you could watch us moving and talking and listen right now. And then you'd hear yourself. All right. I just reduced my, uh, my frame rate or whatever to standard to 480. Yeah. I mean that right there means you're using less bandwidth. Uh, so you're pushing less quality. So that may help a little bit. <clears throat> that is wild. So, I'm watching myself. I'm not listening. Yeah, I can see uh, obviously deteriorated from where you're at. I don't know how to repair any of this shit. Uh, yeah, I, it's it's still doing it. I can still definitely hear it uh, clipping. Um, so right now, how many? How does this restream work? I've never used it. Are you streaming to like five different places, like right now, or? Yeah, I'm streaming. A bunch of different places. So I, I think I'm streaming to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm I'm guessing that might be the issue because, like, I, I if I go on Twitch and I'm streaming myself play a video game or whatever, people can see my face and then they can see my screen. Um, if I turn the graphics up and make it look really nice. Then even just streaming to that one place, it'll get a little choppy because it has to like throttle it. It, it can't. You're trying to push too much through that garden hose. Okay. You know, if you're trying to blow a golf ball through a garden hose, it gets tough. So I I wonder. 
Are you familiar? Are you pretty good with Discord? Like, do you have a Discord and know how to get in and out of no it? Idea. No idea. Know how to do it? Oh, the fuck that guy. Let's see if we can get Esteban on here so he could run the fucking. Yeah, like when I'm when I hear everybody else, if you're the one that's running the restream, and you're the one that's actually like outputting it, do you do you have like a really badass internet connection that you pay a lot of money for? Yeah, or is it like kind of shitty? No, I got top shelf. I can't get in. Okay. Okay. How old is your computer, and what kind of computer is it? I'm a Mac. I'm Mac, brand new, 2021. Oh yeah, that's that's plenty. If it's just a couple years old, that's plenty. Um, Esteban, he also hosts this sometimes. Yeah, he shows up. So, yeah, he sent me a text yesterday. Is it just me and you right now? Again? No, we're 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 live, aren't we? Yeah, we're live. Yeah, I don't want to say anything about Esteban because it'll sound like I'm talking shit about him, <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, let me just get the party started. Let me make this call. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna call this agent from my phone because I got to cut this short. Esteban's got to come in and pick up the slack. He's got to run this thing. I I have I have to make money today. I I don't have time for anything. But, uh, I was thinking my phone was too close to the mic. Hello, it's Amy. I'm Mr. Cox. He's leaving me a detailed message, and I will. That ain't the one. Uh, did I not write that down correct? Okay. Let's see if I can get this chick's number. I thought I did that right. It is so annoying to try to reach out to agents and you can't get their contact information. Um, they've got hidden for some reason. Let me go back. Yeah, I, I yeah, I don't think the issue is your microphone because the the quality of the microphone you can get like $30 microphones that sound like $100 microphones and you know, it's it's fine. I think it's more of an internet issue. Did you When did you start hosting Restream like this doing this? Has it only been like a couple weeks or have yeah. you guys been doing it? Have you been doing it? I've not. Or? This is all Bond. Like I don't do any of this shit. I'm not out in the Sure. This all Esteban, look what I can do, fucking Stuart from uh, Mad TV. Look what I can do. <laughs> look what I can do. Exactly, that's what that. Is. All right, let's try. Uh, maybe I did save it in here. Let me try. Aaron, Aaron. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Four, three, two, six, eight, three, five, five, nine is not available at the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, good morning, Aaron. John Motzbacher. Uh, we spoke over the weekend about your property. I think you told me it was Uxbridge. Uh, I have a limited amount of time this morning. I am headed uh, to a couple of appointments. I wanted to see if we can chat about that property and uh, see if we can put something on paper today that makes sense to you, me, and the seller. Give me a call. This is myself, 559-708-6460. All right, so that's that. Um Lukey, how are you? So this right here, say hi to everybody. This is Lukey. Lukey is in the ass. Lukey always has to be near me. He needs constant attention. Um, 
he's walking. Okay. Say hi to everybody out there. Oh, my. that's not really. Funny. Okay. Down you go. Go play. All right. So, um, I just got a text message. I don't know from where. Let's see. Uh, I don't even remember what. Uh, I'll try you this after. I'm heading to an point note. All right. So, so anyway, um, I need Esteban because he's the one that has the A1. And he's the one that sends that stuff out. Uh, and I was, it was trying. There's too many things coming at me, Matt. So, Matt, do you got anybody for us to call? Matt, you got anybody for us to call? Oh. Matt is on a call. Nine minutes later, a call he didn't know he had to make. All right. So, we can do live. Again, I don't do this. Um Everybody just leaves me. Your call has been forwarded to myself. Okay. I was trying to get asked them to do that. Let's just move on to another one. We've got that one. Okay, let's call this one. Hold on. Let me uh, let me pull this one up. Usually, I got people sending me leads. Esteban is nowhere to be found. Uh, um, I don't have time to fucking break on terms for you, sir. What do you want it for? I need um, live on a stream. I can't do this right now. What are you trying to accomplish? So I get people that just hit me up because they see I've got, hey, I see you got something for sale that I buy with no credit, no nothing. Hey, what are the terms? Like, fuck, I don't know. Um, And then I keep getting spammed on my deal. So let's hear Tom Simmons. Let's see. Here. Let's have a chit chat. Let's call this one. Brian, with American Realty. I'm available. Please give me a message or for a quick response, send me a text. Thank you. Brian, it's John. I don't know if I reached out to you about this probably on Greeley Hill Road last week. Uh, Tom Simons told me uh, I should give you a call. Um, you can call me directly on my cell, 559 uh, Just trying to a little bit more information about this property. I look at absolute hundreds of deals per week. So if I called you and I don't remember, I apologize. Um, 
I mean, I don't know what's going on with this property. It looks like a, a total uh, tear down. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, man. All right, so I got that. Um, my kids go back to school in two and a half weeks if anybody cares. Um, let me call about this other one. So I got somebody that sent me a couple of these things. One is in a place called Coulter, California. Never heard of that. And then there's another one here in Los Palos that is so fucking overpriced. I must have a conversation with that agent. Like this, this thing makes absolutely no sense, whatever. But I am scrambling for people to call um, because what is one? Tom sent you to. Uh, but agents, I mean, they don't answer their phone, you know, I'm guilty of it too, because I'm either on this stream or I'm another one. Hello, this is Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. It's John. Ma Thanks. So what is going on with that property? Uh, Tom Simmons told me to give you a call, said this, uh, be of some interest to me. Um, I've been in the market for quite some time. Is it just super overpriced? Like, what's going on with this? Well, they started, I would have sold it. Uh, you know, um, they started about 100000 too high when I listed it. And I said, God, where are you coming with this price? Well, then, you know, um, bringing it down, bringing it down. Um, now we're at four ninety nine. Um, it, self financing is available with an uptown, uh, a unique property, huge lot, um, uh, over 13,000 square foot lot has a, uh, workshop garage in the back that possibly could be converted. Um, the home, um, and the first homes built a banker built it there in this palace. It, it's, it's a large home. It's 2000, um, over 3000 square feet. But it has possibility. It's just it's kind of an undertaking. Um, had a lot of interest, uh, but I just you know with the market right now, just haven't had anybody really jump on it before. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, it doesn't need anything uh, as far so as repairs. It's, it's, it's livable. It needs upgrading. I mean, I configure it differently. It doesn't have uh, central air. It oh has, boy. Uh, has um, I've been in the summer. I don't know what the deal is with that house, but it's not it's laid out. Um, it stays pretty cool, but they just have some wind units. Uh, they cut, they tinted it. They had a termite cast. They've done foundation. Uh, it's been painted. Um, it's potentially, it was a boarding house years ago. It was a base home. Then they had. Uh, out at Eagle Field, they had the girls live there at one point, and then um, they had it at a boarding house, and then this family bought it and be their single family residence. Um, it has potentially eight bedrooms, but they made some of the bedrooms into, uh, you know, like an office study type of thing. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it. I mean, it it, it looks like it. You know, like it's. Like Bones, as we say, right? So, um, it has, it has a lot of potential. It could, uh, I even split it and, uh, you know, maybe make two units out of it or, um, you know, in a, um, yeah, you know, for that type of thing. But, uh, the property in the back, it's accessible from the back, also. You can go in the ditch, um, driveway down the back and you can assess the back through uh you know the back of the home mm -hmm. okay Na neighbors on each side built and step uh so the neighborhood is you know turning around there um like i said i've had a lot of interest but you know it it, it does take i need to go in there and upgrade it. you know um i would reconfigure a little bit and um it around but um you know to make it flow better and the use of the home but, um has a, a nice huge 
lot that looks out to the back, which is lovely. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I have to show it to you, take a look, see what you think. Well, on the tax credit shows that it's six bedrooms. Now you're marketing at four. So what happened? Well, so I'm saying they took some of the bedrooms and you, uh, see where the study is with all the books. Okay. They, they made that a uh, study. Then she took one of the rooms and made it. To, um, uh, um, an office, and and then one of them she needed a sound room, you know that type of thing. Um, so we just, I just put four bedrooms okay. of the, uh, um, because technically that's what they were using it for. Right, right, all right. Um, are they not living in it now? No, it's vacant. Um, I they they were older. He he's recently passed away. Oh. Um, I have him in a single family, uh, single four. Okay. Um, I had to get him in a small home. Um, she's older. Yeah, like I said, she carried the note. She actually carried it five. She told me enough down. She carried it five, which is, I think, really good. Have you? Um, no, 5%. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, she carried it at 5%, and then... Uh, um, like I said, enough down. Um, What's enough down? What is that? Give me a number. Well, I had eighty. I had eighty down at five percent, and and uh, young man's wanting wanting it, but his dad doesn't understand seller finance, and he thinks that we're um cheating him. No, it's not you're cheating him. It's it basically you want twenty percent down, right? So yeah, I'm right around there. She's not. She doesn't need money. She's not, she's not stuck to getting the money. So, um, I came with 80% down and, and I'm going to cover closing costs, commission fees and all that. And with that, we were going to move forward in the her gentleman's dad, which he doesn't understand. And he thinks we're pulling something over on him. Okay. So he's, he's talking, trying to get at the young gentleman out of it yeah, but that's where you are right now but it's, uh, yeah it's um like i said good bones it's something nice i could even see it as a bed and breakfast um hotel, something like that because we don't have the area but <coughs> rentals are going to need rentals desperately why don't they just rent it out like that seems like it would make sense they've already owned it why they just run it out she, she has i would imagine 50 60 rentals mm -hmm. and she doesn't she's pushing in their 80s she doesn't do with it so they're just slowly going to be getting all the property i know okay um yeah. what do you think Comps, I mean, the uh, rental rates are in the area. Um, they're pretty common to Los Angeles. We're getting high rents. I, I would probably go at least 24 for that, 26. Okay. Um, a single, single bedroom little studios are all from 900 to 1200 in Los Palos. We're getting the overflow in Los Angeles. And then the fact that there aren't rentals. So, and like I said, in the back, you can reconfigure that and make that a livable space. Would be nice to do. Yeah, I'm just trying to make financial sense of this. If I paid 500 for this house, I put 80 down a two-year term at 5% interest. With I'm guesstimating the proper tax and homeowners insurance, my payment is going to be about 26.49 rents in the area for 24 how do i make any money correct mm -hmm. so i mean <clears throat> just make heads or tails of this like mm -hmm. um <clears throat> i mean you could possibly you know go higher on the rent see if you you know uh, <coughs> they're getting it I, I don't know you know as far as that goes you'd have to have some look at it and see <clears throat> but um you're right you're right that's where i was figuring right around 700 uh payment on this <clears throat> so i mean if your seller is are they amendable 
Let me clear my throat, Tom. <clears throat> And I'm not one to go down, but um, the respiratory, the cough, uh, um, it's going around. So you might have had that too. So it could be. Uh, I don't know. It is. It's been bad. I mean, super bad. I, I've had more people um, yeah, go into that. But anyway, um, she be a little flexible on price. Um, but, you know, 10000 is not going to make that much difference. Actually, but um, um, you know, something I'm crunched and see, but you're right around that's where you're paying for uh, insurance. And, uh, prices. Yeah, yeah, I just got to have more money coming in than I got going out, and uh, I was curious why you know she didn't rent it, especially if she's got that much experience and this thing's not moving at this price because of the meat. I like Buy properties at the median or low, and from what I can see, mm -hmm. three thirty six is where, or three thirty nine is your median home price there in Dos Palos. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then the house needs work too, so I'm gonna have to pour more money to it. I'm just trying, I'm trying to figure out the solution. So I I do creative financing across the United States. My first radio. Um, I mean, I can make something pencil. <clears throat> the uh, the terms to be, we either go with her price and my terms, or we can go with her terms and my price. I can't do both. She's basically pulling all the levers. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can make this work. Plus, we got to, you know, got to factor in your commission as well. I, there's, a, there's a lot of variables in there, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. um, and with the listing side, for you so i'll waive the listing side on my side to keep the uh entry caught down are you at two and a half you at three percent where are you at two and a half, yeah. you're at two and a half two and a half two and a half mm -hmm. okay two point five percent she wants 80 down <clears throat> at five percent <clears throat> okay at five percent all right let me run numbers and then um something if i think i can make it work i'll put my best stuff on paper if she likes it great if not then you know, i'll check back with yeah, this next year okay cool no, abs no absolutely. have the one on Paulo Alto also great great would that would make um let me find the address Okay, uh, it, do you have mortgage on it, or is that ring as well? Mm, doesn't matter. I think it's Frank. I'm sure he's not. He doesn't want to uh, care, right? uh, but he will negotiate the price, and he will. I got him. I have him with eighteen thousand back closing, and the I, I just fell out this. The buyers couldn't get financing. Yeah, I, mean, I come in. I can come in. Okay. Cash, but if I'm coming in all cash, I'm coming in at a good price, and he's not like that. I could assure you. So he, you know, we we can figure the thing out one way or another. Uh, I mean, I'm buying houses with you know five thousand dollars out of pocket. So going and dropping hundreds of thousands of dollars to buy a single door, it doesn't make a lot of financial sense to an investor like me. I'm a licensed broker in California, not my first radio. Uh, we've got. 29 properties under contract throughout the United States. Like I can assure you, uh, you know, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. I can show. No, no, no. Yeah. It's can, business. You know, yeah. Business. And if you come up on that house that you feel comfortable with, I will be more than happy to present it. You never know. You know, you, ne you never know um, what they're open to. But uh, yeah, the other one is 1550. Alto. I have it at 348. 15, 20. That's a good home, too. For but um, anyway, uh, you guys 
you have any uh, uh, interest in um, land? Now? If anybody is not, it just kind of depends. Uh, obviously, if it's ag, uh, it's not going to have power, sewer, water. Those are all costs that you know can be pretty expensive. Depending on how far I got to bring it, I got a, I got the largest. Uh, 20 acres it's the largest entitled piece of dirt anywhere in the state of california it's going to cost 15 million dollars from the water there so uh no, has, has the houses, though. oh okay. no yeah these these properties if i ask emails what I have, yeah uh, they, yeah i'll get you, i'll get out what i have i'm always and then a lot of market uh, that come on too but um, this home here, awesome. I'd like to make work, even if we do you know, price reduction, whatever. Um, yeah, pin some See what you think and, uh, from there. But oh. I appreciate the call. All right, fantastic. It was a pleasure. I appreciate you taking a few minutes with me today. Let me get something. Let me get my team a lot smarter than me to handle up something. And then I've got a meeting here at 1030. And then i got to be in the city of San Joaquin. I've got, uh, I've got 87, oh, yeah, the second four <laughs> C, but I've got 87 single family lots out there. I got to go meet with the city. We're arguing with them on all this housing, and they want us to pay for a trail, and they want us to pay for a park, and it's just been an absolute nightmare. But I'm not five point eight million dollars just sitting there that I'm trying to get paid on. You know the struggle. Well, yeah, these kids want uh, everything. And and they and then yeah you're like come on you know cause our, our towns are around. Um, I grew up here. I do Central Valley basically. I'm a I'm in the state, but basically Central Valley. But you know, as I told them, I said you know, we got to get this town back. Well, so you guys have to be more open arm. Yeah. And, get and get, you know get things rolling. But we have new city manager. We have new people all in. Just in a rock and roll. Nice. Our water coming in. So, um, and then we're really getting the overflow. Of so, gotcha. That's been nice, but uh, okay, nice talking to you. Hope we, we can do this together. All right, fantastic. I'll fire you off a call sooner than later. I appreciate the time. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh -huh. Bye bye. All right, so it's that easy. It's just have conversations with folks. It's not a big deal. Uh, see here. Let me tell you. Check my contact information. Uh, five five nine houses. At, uh, Gmail. All right, so we got that out. Um, Matt, how do I fix whatever I fix? I don't even know. We'll have to do this offline, right? I don't know if Matt can hear me. Jose, Joey, Sarah, Green Power Ranger, good morning. Morning, man. How are you doing? I'm damn good. I don't know if you heard otherwise, but it was a lie. I mean, absolutely dominating today, and I wish would tell me otherwise. I got the uh, the cowboy hat on. I got some ostrich skin boots on. I have my cowboy belt, with my PGA or golfer belt buckle, and I'm running under the wish factor today, wishing a motherfucker would try to piss in my cornflakes. I'm ready to fucking go dot com. So I've got a meeting here in an hour. I'm going to go ahead and text that guy. I should call that guy. Uh, let's call this guy. Some other guys in a meeting. Let's make sure this guy is ready for me at 1030. Paul 
has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. A tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, Morbo, John Mott, Bucker, Real Broker. We've got a A full report. Uh, uh, give me a call or shoot me a text. 559 All right, I just saw my microphone cut out. My microphone cut out, huh? Yeah, it's been cutting off and yeah, on. Yeah, you know, um, I'll probably have to kill this stream um, because I don't know how to fix the technology. I can't fucking get a hold of Esteban. I don't know if it's the stream. I don't know if it's my microphone. But I just got a notification that my mind restarted. I had a Yeti before. Homeboy Esteban was talking shit about a Yeti. And I got a T-ass microphone, which I do. Like, I don't do this shit. I don't fucking need it. So I went out. I bought the uh, the shirt. I didn't get the $400 version because I didn't want to miss her. She wanted to plug my fucking shit in and uh, make some content. But I'm have a hell of a time with the uh with the stream you guys are saying it's cut out i don't know how much more money i can fucking spend uh to entertain the crowd. so um yeah you got something to call joey uh not at this moment but uh we, we did we had a follow-up with that 1300 sparrow uh that guy with the airbnb oh that four million yeah million dollar pool yeah, I don't even know what we're gonna do with that. Um, yeah, we can follow up with him. Hold on. And we didn't even talk terms. I was just over something. Yeah, yeah, we're just talking, see what's going on, because he already had some investors looking into it, some people from Houston, but it's been on the market for like a hundred and. 20 some days or even more if i believe if i recall yeah it uh it's listed for sale in uh, um in june at 4.5 million then they came back in the market at 3.9 then and on halloween they moved it and then they brought it back at 3.9 again 650 four square feet now where's this one this one's in austin so let's figure out okay so uh you got to figure out what the median home is in a certain zip code zillow home value index so you put in zhvi zillow home value index, the equal sign and then wherever it is you know the the city in texas California, whatever. So the median price in this area is six hundred forty-eight thousand dollars. So I just want you to see the median home price. That's where all the buyers are. There or below is where all the buyers are. The higher that you get over the specific number, the smaller your buyer pool is. So I mean, it's four million dollars essentially. We've got a fucking handful of buyers. I don't want to lock something up that we're not able to move. So let me, and then the guy may want fucking ridiculous terms. You know, a lot of these knuckleheads want 50% down. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? You know, we would have to get a DSCR loan. And it's just, there's a, a, I am not a fan of these huge uh, price tags because they're absolutely brutal to move. Like, why was this a trick for you? Just because it's on the market for X amount of time? Yeah, yeah. well, I was just pulling up a, a, a list, and I was just going one by one. And the second one that came up was that one. I was like, I'm just going to go down the list, you know, just call, make, make some calls. I don't know what I'm getting into, but I'll figure it out as I talk to them. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know what Esteban saying here he said to put the meat back delete 
Hang on, we're supposed to have that on paper. I'm trying to hold to my partner. I'm not going to send it to anybody but you. Okay, so there's that. Um, we can definitely follow up with that. But because we're having such rough issues with the audio and whatnot, and Esteban is here, I think we're going to kill this broadcast joey do you have my cell phone now uh is it that uh the one that you always post on these lives five nine seven oh eight six for sixty i don't care who has it you find it's gonna be yeah. um uh, about, okay no problem i'll check in late afternoon you're not a full schedule Okay, so um, what was this chick's name? Let me get this one. Uh, come on. Let me get this. But um, I need to get my uh, audio issues addressed. Um, put this in my phone info create new create new, create new contact Suzanne Cole in Dos Palos all right so we got that um, but yet we still this we get some audio issue worked out Matt Duke, can you hear me? Matt, not hear me. Here. Um, but Matt, I'm going to troubleshoot me. Joey, you got my cell phone. I've got a 1030 allegedly that I've got to get to you. I thought Esteban was going to be here to pick the slack. Um, I apologize to everybody. I, I know how to how to wrap what I've got going while I'm live. So let me, let me try to troubleshoot what I've got going. And then. And uh, I'll circle back with everybody. Today is just absolutely brutal. I've got this 10.30 Pacific time showing. And then I've got to go to the city of San Joaquin. So I will coordinate with Esteban. Maybe I will um, I'll hop on the screen with you guys on my drive to the city of San Joaquin this afternoon. Uh, let me figure out. Let me get these technical issues worked out. And then I'll get back to everybody here. Deuces. That's good. All right,